And what is again? Uh, That's a ninja blender cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's my ninja blender cup. And let me know once you have it. You can't, but we need to go higher. A little higher? Yeah. New valve cover is on, it's looking good, clean, more engine space, no battery. I'm just about to do my oil change. First, gloves. gloves. This is the mechanic attire. Hug. Oh, you got a crux, right? Crux. <laughs> crux. <laughs> crux socks. Black shirt and old navy juggles. Old clothes. Old clothes. Yeah, yeah. So now we have to open the valve cover. All cap. To remove the pressure that's building up. Sayo, one more thing. Uh, some big aisle. Uh, I have a bucket. So things you'll need for an oil change. You can do this yourself at home very very simple well just type in your vehicle specifications for oil change it will tell you the number uh, oil filter you need and the recommended oil OEM oil and also I'll show you the tools you'll need to do an oil change except the products that I'm using my car uses a 17 millimeter uh, socket to pull the nut to release the oil you're gonna need a we're calling second side. Funnel. Fun funnel? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need a funnel. <laughs> and a measuring what is again? Uh, That's a ninja blender cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's my ninja blender cup. You're gonna need a blender cup with a measuring. No, 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 no measuring. No blender cup. Measuring cup to measure how many oil the engine will take. Like I said, you're gonna type in the specification of your oil uh, um, change uh, information for your car. And then you just follow the steps. But like I said, this is the only tool you need a 17 millimeter socket to pull the bung or nut. So, this is the oil filter wrench or removal tool. Yeah, I forgot to mention this in the first clip. But anyways, yeah. So, now the things you will need is a funnel, a measuring cup for a specific um, amount of oil to go in the engine, and a bucket to catch the oil, and a 17 millimeter socket, basically. So now come with me. I'll go underneath the car. Oh, I'm too tall for this. So, so you're gonna set your bucket so you can catch the oil. You give it a little snug. And then you use your hand so you pull the bucket closer. Oh my god. So you pull the bucket and then you When you get to the edge of the, you just pull it and the bucket will catch the oil. And then you pull the bucket closer and let the oil run. And you can just use your hand to pull this off. A lot of people, oh, when you, whenever they do an oil change, they just mount this thing dry. So you, the oil you use, the oil you're gonna put in the car, 
put a hole in it and you pour a little until it's filled all the way to the top and then right around the rim you dip your finger in it and you go like this before you mount it onto the car there's a there's a material in the filter that absorbs the oil. It's like a sponge. As you can see, the oil is going down. Let it sit. Now I just wait for the oil to drain out of the car. And it's almost done. You just topped up with oil. Mount it on. Drain bolt on from open to close. Don't make it tight, just a little snug. That should do it. Get your bucket, slide it out. I'm going to use this measuring cup to put the specific amount of oil in the engine. It uses 4.2 liters of oil, so I'm using this to tap it off. Yeah, it's good. Sounds quiet. It's it's idling better now. But the engine bay looks so much better now. Oh, you, you only can go up until one.